Throughout history, many men have searched for the Holy Grail, but I can tell you I've found it within the 1991 game by Hot B called the Blue Marlin. This game is the greatest accomplishment in human history. It's even better than Load Runner. Now, this game bestows you with the wonders of being a fisherman, and the first choice you make is where to fish. Have you ever been given that much trust in your life? No! See, I answered for you. You cannot believe your eyes right now, am I right? Well, look at this. The graphics. The, my first point about this game. They're unbelievable. I cannot even believe how good these graphics are. I look out the window, I see no difference. I really do not see a difference between 8 bits on the screen and however many bits real life is. I just really cannot believe my eyes right now. Now, the main point of this game is to catch fish. And if you've been playing this game as long as I have, you're a fucking expert at this by now. Now, I'm getting really enthusiastic because I know what's coming. This swordfish battle is just unlike anything you've ever seen. You watch movies, you, uh, you, play, you play RPGs, there's nothing that even compares to this. This is the battle of a lifetime, and I can tell you, truthfully, I've never caught a fish in this game. But it's the awesomeness of trying that keeps me going in life. And one of my favorite features is that they allow you to go back to the port and say, you know what, I don't want to fish anymore. And then they give you three epic choices. Weighing, go fishing again, and fuck it, let's go to McDonald's. And the third choice is just, it's outrageous. Now, you're, you're welcome to McDonald's by Jorge, who tells you he'll give you 80% off all menu items if you agree not to tell his boss he's an illegal immigrant. A fitting story for this game. Now you can choose to buy a burger, buy some fish, or shoot the son of a bitch with a gun. I love that option, and if you choose it, the plot takes another twist. Now I'm gonna ask you, think back to the greatest plot twist you've ever seen in a game, movie, or book. Does anything rival this? And the answer is simply no. The first level you're playing is a fisherman. The second level, you're in an action side-scrolling game. Whoa there! Hold on! I cannot even believe my eyes. Playing this game through in a hundredth time, I would still not be able to believe it. Now, in level three, you're experimenting with drugs. It's fairly simple. And in level four, he gets hit by a boat and is paralyzed so that he has to be transformed into a cyborg. And in level five, skipping ahead a bit, you're, you're in Russia and you're defending America. And in level six... You're signed by the Houston Astros, motherfuckers! Houston for life! But anyway... Texas rules. But, uh... In... In, uh... In summary, the Blue Marlin is the greatest... Most well-made game ever made. If you disagree, I suggest you run. Because I do not tolerate anyone saying anything against this game. Now, I know what you're thinking. Hey, Jim Bob, I'm reading the credits, and I can tell that you edited together a bunch of games to make this review. And you're lying to us, Jim Bob. Well, you know what? I'm lying to you if I say I'm lying to you. Because this game is that good. It confuses you so much that that is why it's so good. I mean, you want to know why you don't know about this game? The government. It's a conspiracy. They don't want you finding this game because it's so good, it'll change your life. The Bush administration has cheated and lied to us for so many years that we need to rebel. We need to buy the Blue Marlin. It's the way to make the economy better. It's the secret to the world. Tell your friends. Tell your parents. The Blue Marlin. The Blue Marlin is king, motherfuckers.